welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews and another Taste Challenge Thursday. Today we have Modelo making another appearance. Uh, so far it's defeated Labatt Blue and Corona Familiar. But this time it's going up against Tecate. Tecate has a new uh, retro can. Uh, try to get you a good look at it. Not all that different, but it's definitely noticeably different from the last time I've seen it. Here's an old can of Tecate. That's pretty much what the modern day cans were looking like. And now we got this one. All right, anyway, that's enough of that. I also have an old Modelo can, which I purchased on eBay uh, since the last time. I think I talked about it in one of my videos, but it didn't have one. Well, now I got one. All right, enough of that. Modelo, 4.4% ABV, 18 IBUs. It gets a 3.13 on untapped with 344,000 reviews. It's a pricey brew around here. It's $18.99 for a 12 pack. That comes out to $1.58 per can. The Tecate uh, is much more affordable. It's $12.99 for a 12 pack. That's $1.08 per can. That's a 50 cents per can difference. But Tecate does get a lower score on Untapped, a 2.84 with 173,000 reviews. <clears throat> um, Tecate. Brewed and canned by, uh, I'm going to butcher this, that's really long and kind of hard to read. Serva Syria, uh, I should have brought my magnifying glass, Kua Kuamti Mok, or whatever that is, in Montezuma. And it is a 4.5% ABV. And Modelo is a Grupo Modelo owned by Anheuser-Busch. 4.4%. Okay, let's get into it. This cup has an M for Modelo. Let's go. Got to move the Tasmanian Devil and the Smurf. Get them out of the way. I had these cans in the freezer for about 15-20 minutes before I came down. I still have a few flies around here. But most of them are gone. But I see one right now. There's Modelo. Here goes Tecate. Tecate with a T on the bottom. We'll see if the, uh, the uh, budget Mexican brew can stand up to Modelo. Much more pricier brew. Let me bring this a little closer right now. All right, as far as appearance, Modelo is a little darker, as it has been in every one of my challenges so far. Modelo has been the darker brew. They're both got excellent carbonation, roughly the same amount of head. Actually, Tecate has a little more, but I poured that one second. All right. I'm going to close my eyes, spin them around, and then see which one I like better and see if I can guess which one is which. It's very hot and steamy outside the last few days. Not, uh, not good for doing beer reviews out there unless I want to get all sweaty. And the Phillies lost their second game against the Braves. But this is going to be old news to you because uh, this review is going to be more than a week out, two weeks out. I'm kind of getting ahead a little bit. So I got a little extra time off. I'm getting ahead on my reviews as far as I can. All right, I don't know where these are, which one is which or where they are. Here we go. Try to find them without knocking them over. Okay. Move that out. Here we go. Right hand first. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, excuse me, that is, um, I think that's the contact. It has the Mexican corn cerveza taste. But, um, well, let me just go into this one. Cheers again. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> There's definitely a difference between these two. This one tastes lighter, more, a little more watered down, less of that corn flavor. You know what? On second thought, second taste, it came across a little bit better. Hmm, that's kind of weird. The first taste came across watery. It's not quite as bold as this one, though. Let me go back over here. Yeah, this has that nice, firm, bold, corn, Mexican corn, cerveza flavor. This one, I believe, is Modelo, and I like this one better. And I'm just going to go right for it right here. It is Modelo. That was uh, relatively easy. I didn't even... As soon as I tasted this one, I said to myself, that's Tecate. Uh, it's not quite as good, but like I said, it's 50 cents more per can. So if you want to spend a little extra and get something with more flavor, go with Modelo. There's a fly sitting right on my camera. Oh boy, okay. Tecate definitely has less flavor. And we'll just leave it at that. Now here's the old cans again. There's right there. Here's the modern cans. All right. Um, let's see what it says on the older cans. Modelo. It just says Hancho in Mexico. <clears throat> and the rest of it is in Spanish. That's all it says. And the old Tecate can says Cerveceria. There's that word I had a hard time pronouncing. C U A U H T E M O C. Monterey, Mexico. Tecate beer brewed and can by Cervicia Guahumec. Oh well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, Modelo with third win in a row. I really like. I really like Modelo. Really good stuff. Catch you next time. Bye. Hey, uh, I'm back just for a moment here. As I sit and watch what I just recorded, I did not give a score for Tecate. Now, Modelo, I scored it in the last video, uh, 4.25 out of 5. Tecate uh, is going to get a 3.5 because it has a watered-down flavor. It's like a light version of Modelo, and that's, that's my view of it. Thanks for watching again. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. That's something on the side of your mouth, Al. No, 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 the other side.